Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good day, wherever you are in the world, and thank you very much for joining me again. Today, I'm going to be playing Hellblade Sinua's Sacrifice. Now, before I get started, the reason why I'm playing this game, it's produced by a group called Ninja Theory, which is an independent games developer in the UK. They originally came out with a game that, I'll be honest with you, I picked it up with bundled in with my PlayStation. I bought a PlayStation 3 back in, I think it was about 2006, 2007. To be completely honest with you, because it was the cheapest Blu-ray player on the market. It was just as Blu-rays started to come in, and a Blu-ray player was X amount, and the PlayStation was cheaper. And of course, it had the extra bonus of being a console. Now, along with it came a game called Heavenly Sword. And I absolutely loved it to bits. I played it to death. Um, I invited friends around. My friends played it. I lent it out to friends. I lent it out to even to family. And the story was fantastic. It was a female lead character, heroine, all the way through it. And the, the bad guy... I think I want to say was like the voice of Gollum in the Lord of the Rings movies as well it was absolutely unbelievable it was just so much fun to play now unbeknownst to me I have been recently watching uh, Elinari play the Enslaved series which is uh, Enslaved Odyssey to something I, it's the names escaping me right now um, and Without me realising, that game was also done by Ninja Theory. And when I actually looked up um, who produced Enslaved, after she was playing it, after it got my interest, piqued my interest because of the story that was in it, I found out that they also were making this game, which came out in 2017. And I thought, well, given the amazing story that I've seen with Enslaved and how much I enjoyed Heavenly Sword, I could not give this game a go. Now, before I do get started, I will warn you that this game does come with a warning label to say that you will... The main character, Senua, that you see here does experience um, quite severe psychosis. Now, while you may think, oh, well, it's only a game, you know, I can put up with it, I can live with it. I can tell you now... It's it is quite extreme. Um, yeah, you'll you'll get to see it, but it does have that warning. And you know, if if you have someone that you know that's had difficulty with it in the past, you may want to avoid this completely. But I thought I should at least give you that warning. But let's get things going anyway. Now I'm gonna be quiet through most of the introduction here because it is very narrative i will be looking around so you can enjoy the amazing spectacle and views uh -huh. that this game gives Who are you? doesn't matter welcome you're safe with me i'll be right here so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. Yes, that's a head on her back. What's happening? It's breathing. Zed. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? 
They've been around ever since the tragedy. Oh, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? She's in her lie. Look, up ahead. Her lie. Do you see it too? real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call Hells. Turn back. Go back. Go back. It's not safe. God, look at that structure up there. Man, a lot of these people got the point of what was going on. I wonder what his name was, Spike? Yeah? No? Look around and you'll see them. The drowned. The sick. The slain. Here they lie, rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. But the dead don't always lie still here. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. The voices are freaking me out. Because it's directional sound, so it's not like just one sound behind me constantly. There's like sound in my left ear, right ear, and then they're moving as they're talking to me from like left to right and right right back to right forward. I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness. It just builds onto itself growing stronger, towering over her. He might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far. Far deeper. You know what? This entire time I thought I was actually just sailing on a log. But I've just noticed this it has actually had like an area carved out in the middle of it so that you can ride in it. It's like a proper log boat. Like a log flume boat. Just without the fancy pictures as you get thrown off the waterfall at the end. What is she looking at? It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. Oh, are we the voices? There's no going back. There is, you just get back. Never mind. Get back in the boat, I was gonna say. You can't do it. 
sending our pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. I guess this is where I step in? It seems so. Uh, start pressing all the buttons. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Ooh. They're coming. Coward, get out. Okay, well, I'm just pressing all the buttons right now, and it seems there is a run button, and so... Okay. That's not freaky at all. But she's not stopping. And I'm heading towards it. Why? Not this time. Okay. Ooh. Wow, that is a picture and a half. Welcome to the land of Helheim. He said, the river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim. To be or not to be? That is Senua's question. In a bag. Oh, look at the hairs. All the individual hairs, it looks amazing. I hear you. She wears the blue wall paint pretty well as well. He's there, you know. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Hela. Her dear beloved, Dillian. Dillian. Okay, so we're on a quest to find Dillian. Even though Dillian's in the bag on my back as a head. Ooh, this, look at the water. His soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be at peace. She needs to lay him to rest. Hello, water. Can we swim out here or? Where are we? She'll never make it to her. She can't let Okay, that's getting pretty deep. Let's go back to shore. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old huh. fool said there was a hidden path up to it. There's a hole. Let's see, shall we? Hmm, interesting. Look at the shiny reflections. The way the sun throws itself up on the ground is amazing. 
No, we can't go over here. Can I follow this along? Oh, nope, that's going really deep again. No, it just seems really wise to stay out of the really deep water. Okay. Uh, let's go round, I guess. Yeah, it looks like there's a bridge or something here once upon a time. Anything around here? Nope, not by the looks of it. Oh, there's another hole. Sounds like there's a waterfall or something over there. Oh, there's a waterfall here. Ah, and a way up by the looks of it. Okay, let's go up. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Wasn't the ice giants in Jotunheim? Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. That's where we're... Ah? Oh. Okay, it looks like we need to go up there, so... Oh, water effects. Very nice. Okay, let's go through the cave, I guess. Just drop down. Oh! I think... We can't get back up here now, can we? Okay! We are now trapped in a cave. She do that. She shouldn't have done it. Go back I know, I know. Tell me <laughs> no, about it, voices. It. The hidden path. Okay. Okay, we have a door. What's going on here? It's dangerous. Touch it. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Scorsman. Don't let the bastards catch me again. Never. Wait. Howdy. Who are you? It's just a memory. Drew. Is that you? Around to you now. I am I. Tales of the Northmen. They call me Drew. Liar. An old fool. <laughs> truth is my truth. Huh? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. To guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Yeah, I guess. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. I'm guessing. Ah. Seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in distance. your mind's eye. Find one like it to now. open the gate. To use her eyes. Okay, so we are looking for this shape, this rune. Um, which is filling the room. Somewhere. Ah, look! Look towards the gate. And the gate will open. Oh, that's awesome! So, like, the roots and the sticks were casting a shadow on the wall that was the shape of the rune that I needed. Which, in turn, opened the door. That's awesome. The gate is open. Knock, knock. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. It worked! <laughs> I spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways, 
I know you did. You listened? When everyone else laughed? My people appeared a heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our Ooh, fury. Oh, this looks really a bit dodgy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Shimmy. Of course, on a waterfall, you're not going to slip. It's all going to be completely fine. Another voice joins us. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't. Who's she? Senua? But what good is that? We are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. Okay, well, we're, we're having to balance this manually. Uh, left, ooh, left a bit. Okay. Left a bit, left a bit. But you know that death oh, is right a bit. Whoa, whoa, left a bit. Waiting for you to make that little slip. Keep forward, keep forward, you keep forward. Just go, 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 go. Ooh, yoy, yoy, yoy. Another rune. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and hardship. Oh, In all of suicide. the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. Ooh! Okay. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Okay, this is interesting because I'm learning some more N Norse mythology from this because I, I like, throughout all the stories of, you know, uh, like Apophis and the, the people that would ferry people to the world, the underworld, you know, Hades, none of them had the ability to resurrect the dead. They normally just guided the dead. Whereas Hela has the ability to resurrect the dead. Which is interesting. Knock, knock. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Shh. Someone's here. Oh, look at the way the rain, some of the raindrops have just frozen in the air. That's cool. Uh, nobody's here? Although this red door, yellow door. It sounds like someone's singing. And what is going on behind me? Like the darkness is coalescing. Hey. You. You took him from me. No, I didn't. I thank you. Let him go. I haven't got him. I take a cup of tea and a few digestives, please. Just give him back. Oh, and your eternal soul. Oh. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is going on? Oh, bad guy. Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Slice in half. And shatonk. Mortal come back <laughs> Hey, what's up? Uh 
How are we doing? I was going to say, you're looking a bit... Misty. I can't do anything against you. What the hell? What the hell? I'm being surrounded by mist. Uh, uh, what the hell? <laughs> Whatever's crawling up my arm is now on my face. And on my neck. So, game over already? Oh, look at that face. Oh, man, that... That looks rough. And the pupils are really dilated. Okay. Who are you? A vision. Oh, it's me. Of what's to come. Hey. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. Oh, it's going up my arm. Ooh. All Not of her good. suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Knock, knock. I'm guessing they're not going to let us in. Back to the dark world. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. Okay. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. Okay. And all progress will be lost. Wow. That is... Wow. That is an extreme hardcore mode. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. That is extreme. So, I could be like 90% the way through the game, and then if I die randomly, I could. It could be game over completely? Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. Okay. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raben, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. Okay, well, can I just randomly pull out my sword now? Hmm. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to challenge the god. She has to fight two gods first. Yes. Two gods, two gates. Yes. Left voice. Yes, right voice. I know both <laughs> voices. Thanks. Um. Oh my god, I can't even think because of these voices. Right, so, logic says to me that if I'm gonna... If there's a possibility that the game will just end because I fail, I think the logic says to me go for the most difficult boss first. Now, one made of fire versus one that has illusions. Now, for every game that I've played in the past, I've never boded illusions have never done well for me, so I'm gonna go for illusions. Because puzzles is one thing, and because illusions are hard. <laughs> Ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. And his name is really cool. Val Raven. Oh, okay. Don't look behind you. 
and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The and then to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Then suddenly the doors are open in front of me. Okay. Alright, let's get through this door. Ooh, the plant. Also the Norse writing on the pillar. Sorry, that's something a bit random to suddenly notice. Um nothing on this one as well. Okay. So can I just randomly pull out my sword now? No. Okay. Looks like combat is fixed. Um and can only occur at certain times. Okay, so we can go in extreme close up mode. Head mode. We can look around. And extremely heavy breathing. That's a little bit weird. Um it's all pretty. It's all very, very pretty. Oh, we've got a wall. And a path going up. Uh, and a path going forward. Let's go towards the wall. See if there's anything over here. Ah, there's a stone up there for the I don't know what fortune telling? Hearing my hearing a spirit? I don't know what to call it really. Let's go up here and have a look at this. I'm also trying to figure out if the symbols that we see going around this ring mean anything, because, I mean, the first four have turned white now. Uh, and by the looks of the symbol, the N, the N is the next thing on here, so I wonder if it turns white after listening. It was a frost. Yeah, it does. A being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. I didn't even know that. I thought, well, then again, you never really, you always hear as Odin as the All Father. You, you, he's, Odin was the guy in charge, but you never really heard about Odin's father, let alone the fact that he had brothers, apparently, or sisters, brothers and sisters. So I'm gonna learn a bit of my Norse history playing this as well, then. Ooh, what is this? It looks like someone's been flayed. Anything in here? No, let's get over. Oh, that's the other dude symbol. I think it was. So does that mean we have to do him first? Or is there another path? Or do we have to find this symbol again? Illusion hides the path to Balravn. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Are we going to have to find this symbol? God, the light is flickering. Maybe up here? There's a bridge of some sort there. Uh, looks like there's a path round to the left here. Yeah, let's have a look up here. Push this down maybe and go across? Certainly seems plausible. It's a wall. It's a door. No, it's a bridge. No, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it down. Come on. Push. Come on. Push it. She did. She did it. She did it. She did it. Yes, she did. Huh. What's this? Is this like a gateway? Oh. Oh, now that's cool. Look at that. The door is closed. The door is open. Look, look, look. Something's different. Something's changed. Different. Can you see it? It's 
funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Okay. So it was just an illusion, as he said. It was just trying to see things from a different perspective. Let us see that the door was actually open. There is a, um... What they called? Those things have a name, and I've completely forgotten again. I, I not brain so great today. My brain not worketh. Um... They're normally for warding off spirits. You see witch doctors and things build them. They they normally like mark the edge of burial grounds and things like that to ward off people from entering. Let's go up the ladder. I wonder if there's a couple of like predefined moments that we're going to have to fail and the the rot ends up spreading. I mean, the, uh, and if these spirits, okay, something's forming. And if these voices get more intense as the black rot spreads, I feel like we're going to fight someone in a minute. Look at that. Ding dong. Can we go through here? I'm just not seeing something here. Open sesame. Are they called fetishes? I don't know if they're called fetishes. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. Gaze into the abyss and the abyss gazes back at you. Oh, this is like a sacrificial platform. Nice. This person looks a little bit um, crispy. I'm in danger, am I? I can't go back. If I go back, I fail. I don't want to be afraid. I want to go through the door. Illusion! We got a bad guy. Let's rock and roll! Hello. Oh, nice. There's too many. Find a good position. Don't let them behind. Bring it. Did she just headbutt him? Oh, nice! You finished it. I need to learn some finishers. Dodge roll! Seems that the overhead swipes, strikes do a lot more damage but leave me exposed. The Northmen will not stop her. And she will find what she's looking for. 
to get through here. Ding dong! Anybody home? Ah, another illusion? Perhaps? Ah, by the looks of it, I'm guessing we need those symbols to line up for that door. Um, what else have we got in the room? Yeah, there's a bridge. So we're obviously going to have to go up. Okay, let's have a look at the door first of all. That's the symbol we need to make. Valraven's power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much it's changed. Yeah, I think we need to go up. Um, do we go up this way or do we go up the other way? Let's try this way first of all. Can we go up here? No. Okay. Can we go up on the left? Yeah, I think we need to be standing up where the the floating spirit ghosty thingy is. But how do we get up there? Can we climb up this? How do we... Can we climb? Is jumping a thing? Um... Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Oh, what's this? Are these are these glowing for any particular reason? Oh! Ah, it's another spirit gateway thing. Because I just walked through it a second ago. Right, okay. Ah, uh, you see, I'm liking the illusions that exist in this. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that lets us go up. Looks like there's another gateway here. Maybe? Let's walk up here. We can run up this, can't we? And let's run along here. Alright, let's have a look down here now. Yeah, we can get this to a line. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's drop down. We can't jump down here. Okay, let's run back. There's the spirity thing that we saw. Why is this growing orange? That's a little bit odd. Let's run back. Jump down. Why does it look like we can see through this wall? It's so weird. Okay, let's get through this door. Do we have to go back through this portal thing? Yeah, look. There's the wall has gone back to being a wall again. Okay, let's get through the door. Yeah, we've got another spirit coming up. Do you feel it too? It's like crossing into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world. The forest itself. Or a shadow world. We've got another platform up there. Yeah, let's run over here. Let's have a look at the symbol we need to align on the door. I'm guessing it's the same again. Ah, there's another gateway over there. Yep. Another gate. You know what to do. Stay back. You have to open Let's see the door. Okay, memorize the symbol. Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Okay. So, what does the gateway allow us to see? What does the gateway give us? Line up the ravens. 
Why is something growling? I hear something. There's a gate. The gateway opens up the wall. Follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. Right. Well, let's do as he says and follow the voice. That is so weird. Don't trust your eyes. There's another gateway. Ah, there he is. Challenge me. There's another gateway there. He's gone. He disappeared. Where did he go? You lost Where is he? Find your fault. Oh. What does this gateway show us that we can't see already? There. Let's go back through it this way. It let's us go around. Sounds like he's over here. There he is over there. Um, how do we get over there though? Run this way? Over here. There's another gateway there. There he is. Fight me. Ah. Oh. Is she lost? There's another gateway there. Wouldn't be the first time. Last winter, before the tragedy. She journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off of berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gelt. A gelt. Some, like truth, become gelt in search of penance. Others, like Senua, the purge a curse. Under you go. Those who make it back are forever changed. we open this door? I don't know why we need to do that, but at least the door is now open, just in case we need to come back here, I guess. Um, we'll make a fast getaway. Is that him up there? That is him up there. Let's open this door as well. Okay. Up the stairs, I guess. So how do we get over there? Can we jump over? Can we jump over? No, 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 don't jump down, you silly boo. Unless you can jump up here. In which case, that's not... No. Nope. Okay, let's run. Oh, there's a ladder there. Door. Oh. He's got the ladder. He's gone again. Uh, oh, we can at least see through here now. I guess. Unless that shows us something different here. I don't see... Oh! The steps. We can now see the steps if we go up here. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She How can, can she get up? It must be magic. Dark magic. A trick. The raven. raven. Tricking her. The raven. How can she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. The raven's magic. 
It's not him. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it. Can't get down there. He's not tricking her. Oh my god, these voices! I think it's... Well, yeah, I'd say it's magic. I don't know if... I don't think he's helping... Well, I don't... Mm, he kind of is and he isn't, I guess? He's helping me in the sense that I'm following him, and by following him, I'm being able to have my path revealed to me. So he's helping me in that sense, but... I don't know. On you go. And now you can go round and up. Now we can see through the door. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's the door now open, so we can get through there. Let's go back through. I dread to think of what fighting a god is going to have to be like. It was just a minor god, a god of illusion. Fear, and we think of a shadow in the woods. A creature in the night. I don't. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. Yep. A deep and primal signal from within. Nightmares do it as well. A reminder that just for because me. you cannot see the threat doesn't mean it's not there. Doesn't mean that it's not already here. Follow this round. Yeah, there's a door here, but I'm guessing that's maybe the exit door. Let's try up here. We can go under here. Yep, I guess we're going under. Oh, this is a very dark room. We're still going to be fighting a spirit in here, aren't we? Dead body. Nice spin. Oh, nice. Now, finish it, finish it. it seems that parrying at the right time is definitely a thing as well. Ouch. Let's keep an eye on this other guy. Is that the last one? That's the last one. Oh, crap. Oh, that was close. Whew. Okay. Go back to breathing normally again. Okay, we can go up by the looks of it just here. Yeah, we have to remember that just because we can only see one doesn't mean there's not two. So we have to keep an eye out when we're fighting to make sure the other one doesn't spawn right next to us and vaporize us. Let's have a read of this one. What symbol is this? This is an M, which is the next thing on the list. So we're doing it in order. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone and his flesh into earth and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. That's some impressive eyebrows. So his blood was salt. So one could say the man was quite salty. Nah. 
And that's some quite impressive eyebrows if they're making walls. I wonder if he had like a unibrow. One long wall instead of, you know, two walls with a bit in the middle. Uh, we've got another fetish. Another fetish? What's going on here? Why is this one facing a wall? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Man down here. Oh, well, if we jump down here, we're not getting back up. A one way trip. An arrow? No. What we got going on over here? Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Okay. I'm getting a little bit freaked out again. There's loads of the symbols hanging above me now. Oh, there's another gateway up here. Okay, let's go up to that gateway. Let's a little bit of gentle running. This is getting a bit spiky for my liking as well. Um, go through here. Looks like we got like an assault course above us that we're going to have to run. Um, anything to my right? No. Right. Let's start the assault course, shall we? So we can go left or we can go right. And there's a gateway. Is that a gateway? Looks like a gateway. Maybe it's not a gateway. Or well, maybe it's a gateway I have to activate. Um, okay, let's have a look at the door. We're not close enough. Okay, let's get closer. Something's going to happen here. It's got to. You can see quite clearly that it's too big of an area to not have anything in it. Has that become a cliche for things, for games? Well, you know a room is so big that it can't be just an empty room. There has to be something here. Oh! There he is! Oh, he's over there as well. Uh, uh, are we seeing two? The song. Bell Raven. Bell Raven's song. Where's it coming? It's There's two here. of them. Focus. It's over here. He's there. It's, it's over there. No, it's here. There's two. Are we hearing the song from any particular direction? It's magic. It's magic. It's an illusion. She's been in the forest like this before. This reminds her of somewhere. The forest. Where? Which forest? The forest in the wilds. The wilds. She left the wind. Let's try this way. She went to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight okay. her own. Okay, I can hear the voice coming this way. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for uh, Druth, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. Go around this way, I guess? She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She, she nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Truth helped her. I can't see the difference this one is making. Uh, what's changing? Oh, the wall. Okay, so the wall there is now open. 
Okay, so we can now go across. But we can't get across the bridge here. We need to knock down this bridge. So, how do we get over there? Okay, let's run back this way. We've gone through the door that's allowed us to see through the wall. So, let's run back here. So, it looks like this gate is kind of activated. There's a pillar that's activated. Can we see anything different? What about this way? I don't see anything different. So I'm going to leave that one for now. Uh, can we get across here? No. The only thing that's annoying me at the moment is my character's inability to actually jump. Jumping is certainly a skill that I'd say is... A remarkable one to have. Um, we can't get across here because this bridge is also up. Okay. Can we go down here? And round? Can we get up here? No, we can't. Okay. There's another gateway here. Um, what am I not seeing here? Ah, okay, there's something, there's a bridge here, which I don't see in the other world, so... Aha! Okay, we can get across here. Uh, the rope doesn't seem to go into anything. Let's go across this bridge. I don't think this is the right Val Raven because we're not hearing the song, which... The song seems to be the indicator that it's the right one, so I think I'm going towards the wrong one right now. Uh, but I can push down the bridge now, as I'm now on the right side at least. Um, let's go push down the bridge. Okay, bridge down. Okay. Now let's go and have a look at Val Revan up here. Let's go up. The wrong one. I know it's the wrong one. Okay, what does this allow me to see? The Ravens. The Ravens. They've gone. They've gone. No. Half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Some are still there. Oh. Okay. He's not helping. He's not helping. It's a trick. It is a trick. Out in the wilds. In the cold winter woods. Where have they gone? She no longer felt fit for this world. So the illusion in this room is the, the ravens. The We're seeing more ravens than what there actually are, so I need to find the real ravens. Okay. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become a part of her. Ah, look, the bridge! There's a bridge! When I go through this gateway. Okay. Let's get across here. Uh, we knock down the bridge over here. And we can already see that the when we was over on the other side, that there's a way now through this wall. So, we've already uncovered that. Let's knock that one down. Bosh. And the wall's already been revealed on this side, so let's go in. 
There you go, and I don't hear the voice of Val Revan again on this side. But I'm guessing this one's a fake as well. Ooh, I can go up or I can go down. Let's go up first. Oh, there he is. Can I get to him this way? There he goes. Okay. Maybe I can look up the door from here? No. Okay, there is a portal on that side, and it looks like we can get there from behind, so... He disappeared. Let's drop down and go around. And let's see if that makes... If that last portal dis um, makes us see less ravens, hopefully we can see the right combination that we need to get through the door. Uh, ooh, there's another sewn thing here. Let's have a read. The Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated a sacrifice to himself. What? That's that one. nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learned them. Then he fell from the tree. Interesting. So he he hung himself. And then saw runes? And then... What? He hung himself and dedicated the hanging to himself. How does that work? Can I go up this post? No. I'm guessing this room... Was literally just for that reading. How can I get up here? Um, can I go through here? How can I get up? This door doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, maybe there's a portal where... Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does that portal over there... That puts a hole in the... Yeah, of course! It makes sense! It puts a hole in the wall so you can go through it the first time, but because there's a hole in the wall, you can't go all the way across. So therefore, you go through the portal again, the hole gets filled, and you can go all the way across. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so back we go. So that one, you actually need to go through twice. That's pretty cool. So now the gate is open, and I can go through. Okay, let's go up. All makes sense now. Alright, come around here. And let's go through this portal. Which should give us some more ravens, hopefully. Yes. The ravens. They will go. No. There's still three. There's three. There's three. There's three. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Okay, now I know the ravens I need. Back. I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. Now we see the true ravens. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Broken. The gate is open. Open. Okay, let's get to the door. Such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. 
Oh. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet. Yet. I'll know at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? I have to say, she's got remarkably uh, well worn paint for it to be still on her and after it's raining for this long. I'm impressive with the paint skills. I call it Microsoft Paint. It's that good. Open sesame! Here's the next door. Ding dong! That is a really rough looking hand now. Okay, what have we got in here? More fetishes. Nothing freaky. We've got a beam going across. Okay. Um, uh, we've got a fetish up there. Oh! That one's moving! I think that's Vel Raven. Finally! Yep. He seems to be able to take the place of his fetishes. So, can we see any more in the room? There's a symbol up there. There's a fetish up there. Um, can we see any more symbols? There's a symbol. There's a couple of symbols over there. There's a symbol. For, there's the door. So, let's focus on the door. Yeah, there's a couple more here. I think we need to go up for this one. Let's have a look at the door. We get the symbol in our head. The symbol is loaded. Robin's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Senua. You have the sight. You got the power. We can fight it together. We can do it, Senua. Okay, let's come up here. There's a symbol up here. Huh. There's two symbols, but the third is over there. So how do we reposition the symbols? Can we go up here? I think that's the point where we're going to end up standing. I think we need to remove them around somehow. To get them where they need to be. Uh, we'll got the ladder here. Okay. We got a gateway. Okay. What does the gateway allow us to see? Uh, we're seeing... Is that a branch on the left? There's now a branch on the left. Okay. So we can now run up the branch. Whereas we couldn't a minute ago. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. Finden? Nice name. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. Okay, so he... Well, Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again. I, Druth, have found you, Senua. Oh, so I'm... 
Finden slash Druth's sister? Okay, so we're learning about Druth more than we're learning about Senua. Senua had a brother. I just noticed on this one just quickly that the tree disappears and reappears, as well as the beam on the left. So the beam is now gone, but the tree has now reappeared. So I can now climb up the tree. Um, so Druth, I guess, was Senua's brother? Uh, and they only he was only found when... Sin uh, Findom became uh, Druth, which we heard how Druth came to be. Wow, this is a really thin stick. Very gentle. Please don't snap. Please don't snap. No, no. Please don't snap. Be very careful. Very careful. Nope, 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 nope. Back, 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 back. Why is it like a nest? Okay, we are good. The gate is open. Open. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. What is going on behind her? Make sense of it. Oh my god. Relief settles in. Strong solid nowhere. Throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom. Drowning the mind in fear. What is going on? Deeper. Driving you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Help Senua. Me. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within. You will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. Focus. Is that a raven? It is. I see you. I see you now. You let me to the wild. You trapped me there! Okay. Whoa, okay. Nice dodge. Nice dodge again. Okay, we need to dodge. Parry. Slice. Nope. Dodge. Dodge. Didn't dodge enough. Get up, 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 get up. Okay. I told you. Block the attack. She can still do it. Dodge. Ready to dodge again. She can She's not gonna make it. Ready, dodge. Whoa, I need to dodge a little bit later. Block, 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 block. I'm 
pressing the block button. Why aren't you blocking? And dodge. And dodge. Ready to dodge again. Ready to dodge. Yeah. Ready to dodge. Okay. Block. Slice. Dodge. Block. Get that sword up. Block the attack. Block it. Dodge. Dodge. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, not these guys. Is there more than one? I should check. No, there's only one. Why is the mirror glowing? Okay, come on. Two of them now. Make sure the other one's died. Yeah. Hello again. Whoa. Okay. There's lots of dodging these attacks. Come on, block. Thank you. Stop them. Whoa. I think we need to DI. No, 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 Get up, 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 get up. Yes, she will. We need to do a double dodge there. Go away. Still don't dodge enough. Okay, get in close. Slice, slice. Freaking thunder. Lightning. Man, this guy can dodge as much as I freaking can. Come on. Tell 
Come here, evade at the last possible moment. She's weak, she's so weak, she's so weak. They can see you're weak. It's not over yet. Oh, here we go again. Oh, sorry I'm not talking much. This is so intense. Two at a time, baby. Yeah. It's nearly over. Finish it. Three. Okay. We can do three. Dodge. Dodge, dodge. Come on, bring it. Didn't need to evade, I just need a block. Seems that kicking, kicking blocks there block counters their block they surrounded you you won it focus focus you can do this focus you're so focus focus it's the only way what the hell Caught him in the corner. Oh, he's escaped. I told you that dodge. Remember your training. Block. Oh. Ready to dodge. Get out of the way. They're winning. Come on, come on, come on, get close. Get close. Gotcha! I never beat you in the wilds, did I? It was an illusion. But not this time! Die, bird! That was a rather satisfying gurgly end. The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Really? Unfair, isn't it? Okay, so... In those dark winter nights in the wilds. There were times when she considered... Letting go. Wow. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear you. 
achievement unlocked, Master of Illusion. So it seems that even defeating the bosses results in you, the rot growing further. So it seems like death is inevitable now. And ravens. That's the raven's nest up there. <laughs> 